Hey folks, Eric from Another Voice with Eric and Friends. And in our last show, we talked about fake news. And I saw something last week that I wanted to discuss because it takes that idea even further, which to me is troubling. Now, I don't put much stock in polls. Uh, I didn't pay attention to the polls in this last election. Uh, presidential approval or disapproval ratings to me don't mean anything. But our current president, President Trump, uh, appears to put a lot of stock in what he believes is his approval rating. So his followers do too. So those folks who really are good, strong supporters of President Trump also have a lot of stock in his approval rating. Well, about three or four days ago, Winthrop University did a poll regarding President Trump. And the results were that President Troll, President Trump in South Carolina had a 44% approval rating and a 47% disapproval rating. In the red state of South Carolina, President Trump, according to this poll, had a negative approval rating. Now, I, I want to start by saying I I do think that the, the Winthrop poll used too small of a sample. They called cell phones and landlines of 703 people. Now, I know they did it across a, a wide spectrum and an, uh, an algorithm to, to try to make it as sampling, but I think it was too small. But nonetheless, so I came across this poll and then I came across the comments from people who were President Trump's supporters. And every one of them said the poll was not accurate. That the poll wasn't the truth. Someone so far as to say that Winthrop University was lying, that it was fake news, that Winthrop University was a bad place. So I asked it, I asked these folks, I said, if the poll had revealed opposite numbers, in other words, if when they finished this poll, it had revealed an approval rating of 47% and a disapproval rating of 44%, would you believe the poll? And all those who responded said, of course I would, because that would be telling the truth. And I said, so it's not the source that is untrustworthy. You disagree with it because it disagrees with your perception of what is happening. And this is what's troubling. These folks are saying that poll is wrong because I know more people support President Trump. And the two anecdotal evidences that were given was one, all the people I talked to or all of my friends support President Trump. And the other was, well, he's had these huge rallies. And it's true, 5,000 people at a rally is a great big number. But big is a relative term. In South Carolina, there are over 4 million residents. 5,000 out of 4 million is not as big. No, I'm not saying it wasn't a big rally. So what we have is people rejecting what should be a scientific poll because their perception is different. And this takes that fake news idea one step further where it's like I can't believe what they're saying they're saying lies because it's different than what I believe um, we we can't do that now look I will I said on the show and, and I'll, I'll repeat it again some in the media have helped fuel this by either A, being actually anti-Trump, or B, being so eager to scoop a story that they give a story and it's not vetted properly and it's not accurate. So shame on you when you do that in the media. But the media doesn't do that all the time. And the other thing is people say, well, I believe what President Trump says. Now, let me be clear. I can't do that solely. Not because I believe President Trump is a liar. Not because I believe he's trying to deceive. 
I can't simply believe everything President Trump is saying because President Trump is a human and human beings are flawed and make mistakes. Sometimes they're given incorrect information. We have a perfect example of that. Vice President Pence went on national TV and said <clears throat> that General Flynn did not discuss sanctions with the Russian ambassador. Now, he wasn't lying. He was inaccurate because General Flynn didn't give him the information, according to General Flynn. So, President Trump is a human. He can make mistakes and people, he can be misled accidentally or on purpose. So I can't believe President Trump alone and I can't believe any one news source. And I've never suggested you do that. But we have to go away from, I feel, this is what I believe is going on. And if anything contradicts that, automatically classifying that as fake news or bad polling. Do some research. Look at multiple sources. Uh, the same day the poll came out from Winthrop, WYFF, which I know a lot of folks out there might think is fake news too, but they did a Facebook poll. Now, it is less than scientific because it's just people deciding to, to, to comment on their Facebook page. But you could watch that numbers go up and down. Unless you believe uh, WYFF manipulated the numbers on their poll, it showed the president having a slightly lower disapproval rating, I mean approval rating, than disapproval. I think it was like 51 disapproval, 49 approval. So there was another example. Now again, far less scientific. But the point is, we have got to look at multiple sources. We have got to stop believing or disbelieving based on the fact that we think things are going a certain way. All right, folks, until we get together again, get out in your community and make a difference.